Welcome back to the show. It's time now for the last two segments. Of course, fish. Yes, check out another Suzuki race war held in Pagadian City. It's still a replay, but still catch this exciting race. And of course, we'll be followed by our Casper Power One Regional Underboat Grand Prix. It's the four automatic Scooter 130 beginners. And this is the battle between the top rookie racers there in Cebu City. And we say rookie, it's a battle between John Louis Chan and RJ Comendador. So this is the battle between that two. And because these two are the ones racing for the rookie of the year. And Angelo Mascardo again makes things interesting here. From Davao, join the race. So check this out. Suzuki Race Wars Round 2 happened in Pagadian City. More than 80 motorcycles joined this race. The 2012 Suzuki Race Wars, a legal drag racing event happening in the Visayas and Mindanao area. This regional drag racing championships is the qualifying race of the 2012 Suzuki Raider Breed Wars, which will be happening at Mall of Asia this December, competing against the best drag racers in the country today. The Suzuki Race Wars is a multi-brand championship, sporting the scooter category, the Outlaw class and the Street Modified for the Underbone. And of course, Suzuki also have exclusive categories such as the scooter category for the Step 115, Hayate 125, SkyDrive 125, and the next 115. And for the Underbone, they have the 115 and the R150 exclusive. For the Street Modified, Romnick Mir won the race, 
Merjan, Louis Duran, and Darwin Montañez settled for second and third respectively. For the multi-brand outlaw class, Gerard Carlos got first place while Gil Arroyo and Ricky Pospos settled for second and third. And for the scooter class, Rodel Quirante won the race. Gerard Carlos and Vilaisa Osanastre, the lone female rider, got third place while Carlos got second. And of course, for the exclusive Suzuki Raider R150, Duran Carlos got the championships from Nick Mir, second and Clifford Oliveira for third. Dan Carlos will then qualify for the regional finals for the right to get to the final for the 2012 Raider Breed Wars in Wall of Asia. Next round of the 2012 Suzuki Race Wars will be happening in Bacolod City. It all boils down to this one final race of the year. Hi, I'm Jong, and welcome to the racing line. And this is your Castro Power One Regional Underbone Grand Prix Visayas GP. And this Visayas GP is the last race of the year for your RU GP. And this is a new venue, actually. We are here right now at SRP Subbo. This is where this is where we normally race our autocross championships but this time we'll try it out for your RUGB and of course surprise surprise we have the Mindanao teams coming in for this race and expect a all-out battle between all the racers there we go speaking of Mindanao that's JR Dagio, Clifford Bakut also there we go Joven Milania, Ipro King Mascardo and Chris Carlos Samuga there we go that's Roland King Garutise and of course the rest of the Cebu racers right here right now and of course we'll be able to know and who will emerge as the top racer for Visayas and Mindanao and of course when we come back we are going to give you your four automatic scooter 130 beginners And this is your 4 automatic scooter 130 beginners And this is a 9 rider grid Headed by Angelo Mascardo from Suzuki Phoenix V-Man, Davao John Louis Chan, Suzuki BMR, Cebu And CX rider RJ Comendador from Cebu John Adromeros SFED team from Cebu Jeffrey Chan also from Cebu Mark Anthony Paner also from Cebu Mutoms Mejares, Gian Cabahad, and Francis Lloyd Perez, all from Cebu. This is your four automatic scooter, 130 beginners. And we are up leading the race. So far, is the youngest racer on the racetrack. But indeed, he is the youngest racer on this race. That's Angelo Mascardo. Look at that one. Look at the speed. Look at the gap. It's quickly established by Mascardo right now. 
And that's John Louis Chan catching up. RJ Gomenador on third. There we go. It seems that Louis Chan has a faster or a quicker scooter compared to Mascardo, but Mascardo is just very light. That's why he has a good straight line speed. There we go. And Louis Chan quickly catches him up on the corner. So the, that is okay, how to start the sequence. There we go. A good start from all the racers. And look at that one. RJ Comendador quickly got into the outside, trying to get past Chan on the outside. And it seems that the racetrack is really very dusty and very slippery. There we go, Mascardo looking good so far. Chan Comendador. The top three so far. The opening stages so far. Four automatic scooter one for the beginners. This is for the Zayas Grand Prix of your Castro Power One. Original underbone Grand Prix. This is the battle for fourth. There we go, a good move there. Oh. Able to get it back. That is John Romero. He slide on the outside. Jeffrey C almost got in on the inside. Or that was Panel. Mark Anthony Panel. There we go. Alright. Seven more laps to go in our 10 lap race. Of your four automatic scooter 130 beginners and that is the race leader still leading this race Chan and Comendador still at the back of this youngest rider on the racetrack right now that's Angelo Mascardo the younger brother of Anthony King Mascardo which if I can remember it right this is the same age where April King Mascardo started racing and I think this guy or this kid really has the potential and he's poised to become the rookie of the year for Mindanao. There we go. Chan making a move here on the inside. Let's see. The straight line speed of Mascaro is quick because of his weight. And Chan has a quicker scooter. That's why he was able to catch on Mascaro on the corners. So what will Chan do? What will RJ Commentator do? And of course, we're speaking of beginners. We're talking about the Rookie of the Year Awards, wherein these two riders, Cebuano riders, namely Chan and Commentator, is eyeing for the Rookie of the Year. So if Commentador wins here, definitely he's going to walk out as the Rookie of the Year. Oh, there we go. That is Mark Anthony Paner. Race over for him, I think. So Jeffrey C, climb up. Or Jonathan Romero, climb up. Speaking of the Rookie of the Year for Cebu, for Visayas Grand Prix Series. If Louis Chan can finish in this order, then definitely he's going to win the Rookie of the Year but of course we still have one more category to go for the beginners class that is the 10125 beginners class we're still going to wait for that but so far right now if Chan will finish ahead of Comendador then he is up by a few points on the inside right now for John Louis Chan nothing there what I mentioned a while ago, the straight line speed of Mascardo is indeed quicker because of his weight. So Chan must do a late breaking tactic. I swear to be able to get on Mascardo, but making, doing a late breaking tactic will definitely give you a lot of room for error. There we go, just check to see the battle report. And speaking of room for error, it's not easy to make errors here because Comendador is just right at his tail end. There we go, Comendador is pushing right now. 
Why not? Because it's the last lap of the race. There we go, the white flag being waved a while ago. There we go. Commendador on the inside. Chan still in second. Commendador is still on third. There we go, last corner. Chan on the inside. Nothing there. Angelo Mascado wins the race. John Louis Chan followed second. Commendador for third. This is your RUGP. Messiah's Grand Prix, only here on the Race of Life. And that's it for us for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show, and of course, next week, Brand new episodes, and we're not done with our Castro Power One. We're here on the Ford Grand Prix. Besides GP, it's winning time, and just like what we featured to you this uh, episode, it's RG Commendador and John Mubichan. And expect another all out battle between the two in our 100125, which we are going to feature next week. So that's it for us for this week. <laughs>